Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you three ways to multiply binomials. And we'll be doing problems that look like this. All right, so binomials have two terms. So that thing has two terms. Terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So that's why they're called binomials, because there's two terms there. So let's do this one with method one, method two, and method three. Method one. And method one is like a fancy distributive property method. So we have x plus three times x plus five. And the idea here, what you have to do when you multiply these binomials is that every term needs to be multiplied together. So this x needs to be multiplied times this x and this x times that five. Three needs to be multiplied times that x and three needs to be multiplied times that five. So we're going to just start by doing that. Then sometimes this is called the FOIL method. It's the same thing, this distributive property method. I am going to multiply this x times that x, and I end up with an x squared. And I can zoom in a little here. And then when I take this x times that 5, I get a positive 5x. Now I'm going to multiply the 3 times the first x, and that's a positive 3x, and then I'm going to multiply that 3 times the 5, and that's 15. And that's the first step. The second step is to combine any like terms. Well, we do have some like terms right here. So x squared and then this 5x and the 3x, I can combine those. So we get x squared plus 8x plus 15. And this is the answer. And this is also called a trinomial because it has three terms. One, two, three. And they're separated by plus or minus signs. Trinomial, but it's also the answer when we multiply x plus 3 times x plus 5. That's the first method. The second method, I'm going to show you three different ways because everybody's a little different, right? Okay, so the second method is one that I haven't seen too many teachers use. I, use, I did it when I was a student because it made sense to me. I would write the problem. Again, the problem we're doing is x, cute, x plus 3 times x plus 5. And so what I would do is just write that down on my paper vertically, like this, x plus 3 and x plus 5. And I knew I was multiplying them, and I would just go through all the same movements for multiplying that we learned when we were in elementary school. We start with the 5 times the 3. Those are both positive, so that's a plus 15. Uh, I probably should use different colors different movements. Okay, 5 times 3 plus 15. 5 times x is a positive 5x. Okay, I've run the 5 through now. I need to move and multiply this x times everything. x times 3 is a plus 3x. I don't put it here. I'll put it underneath the 5x because those are like terms. And then I have an x times an x, which is an x squared. Two different movements, but very much like how we multiplied when we were little. Now it just add going down. I have a positive 15. I have a positive 8x. And x squared, no surprise, because we already did that problem once. We're just doing it a different way. So you are in my class. I don't care which method you use, and you may use all of them depending on your mood, but right now we have two. The third method is a little bit more common in, in math classes. Method three. And that's using a box, using boxes. Boxes. I guess if I had to name all these, this one would be boxes. That first method would be distributive property. Uh-oh. Distributive. Dis <laughs> I can't. It's too early in the morning for me. 
what is it, 6.25 a.m. We're just going to abbreviate it because brain, I'm not, spelling is not spelling this morning. Um, method two, I guess I call that the vertical method. Okay, and then the last one will be boxes. All right, so it's the same problem, but the way we do this one is we draw ourselves up a little box that has four pieces to it like this, and we put the x plus three on the top and the x plus five along the side. And then from here, you're just going, what I like about this method is you don't have to remember all the steps. I mean, once you have it set up, you're just going to fill in the boxes with the answers. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Three then I move down to the 5. 5 times x is 5x and 5 times 3 is 15. And we still end up with the same parts in the middle. We have an x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 15. Look back on your paper, that's what we had. So let's just add these two together. These two added up are 8x, so we end up with x squared plus 8x plus 15. And those are the three methods for, let me zoom out so you can see all of them. Three methods for multiplying two binomials, pretty simple problems. So this is something that takes a little bit of practice and your issues are probably not gonna be the method that you choose, but just what's going on with those binomials, whether there's more like coefficients in front of the X's, whether there's more negatives. That's why we're gonna be doing a ton of practice in class if you're in my class. And so look right now and see what's going on. You might have some practice problems assigned to you right now. Look and see. If you aren't in my class, thanks for watching. I'll leave you a, a link here for the playlist for the videos for my class if you are following along and learning algebra with my kids. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.